What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes. Today I'm going to be taking on Dimitri's Legendary Hero Battle and I'm going to be giving you guys a free to play guide for Abyssal, Infernal and Lunatic difficulty. So let us begin with Infernal and this is the free to play team which I'm going to be using. So I've got Mage Erika here, she needs no Sacred Seal, just her base kit. And Peony needs to have any kind of Sacred Seal that could give her extra 3 speed. This is to not get doubled by the Red Mage that has got a Blade Tome. So I'm using Swiss Stance, but you could also use Speed Dress Solo if you have that Sacred Seal. So that could also work. Anything that can give her extra 3 speed points is going to be pretty nice. And uh, this support doesn't really matter, it's old. And uh, we have got Ariana Grande. You need to have HE plus 3 on her so that she can survive the Green Thief. And at last we have got Mini Nerva, the MVP as always. So she needs to have absolutely no Sacred Seals. And let us begin with the Infernal Difficulty. So you only need two Sacred Seals for the solution. And uh, the Sacred Seals are pretty flexible. Alright, so let us begin. The starting position is pretty Where's awkward for us. So we're going to be going over here with Mage Erika. I'm going to be dancing her. And then I'm going to be putting my ear on the side. So that she can be in the range of the Green Thief. And then you want to go ahead and take out this Axe Knight. And Understood. you want to have your Mini Nerva over here. Mini Nerva is obviously going to get attacked by the Pain Healer because she's got the lowest resistance out of all of the targets for the healer. And um, here it's not going to get doubled. It's going to weaken down the Screen Thief. Let's go. And now we can destroy this uh, Lance Fighter. That's and we correct. snipe the Screen Thief. And before you finish off this Cleric, you want to make sure that you actually Where attack with Erica. Now this is to make sure that Erika is in the desperation range when she faces these two enemies who are going to be coming up next turn. And then you want to dance up your yes. ear and take out this Troubadour with the Overkill Iceberg. So Sparkling Boost can be annoying at times, so you have to offset that healing by taking damage purposely. And now we can attack Am this Axe Dragon who has got Guard Bearing. Ready. And Orders, we can just please. go ahead and take out this guy over here. This bow fighter with shining bow you can have ear on the side right behind peony and uh, dimitri's odd tempest is actually pretty annoying in this map he's gonna just jump over here so you want to go ahead and attack the sword fighter and just take him out you want to have your mini nerve over here and then double and take out the sword fighter what should i do now Dimitri is going to be going on the right side. He is always going to be following Erika because Erika has the weapon strangle disadvantage against Dimitri of course. And Dimitri can do most damage to her so that's why he's going to be following her. So you want to go ahead and take out this bow fighter. And the Asperg definitely came into the play right here. We're going to have here in the range of this uh, Green Cavalier so that he doesn't rally up this red mage. And this red mage is the problem basically and that's why we have got Swift Stance here. Any kind of uh, Sacred Seal that can increase her speed by 3 points so that she ends up at 39 speed is going to be enough to prevent double from this dude. Order We're going to have Erika behind the pillar and have Let's Mini Nerva go. all the way down. Peony does survive this red mage and uh... Dimitri is going to be going on the right side, as I said, following Erika. And the Lance Knight is going to be using the pivot. And Understood. now we have Mini Nerva stuck here, unfortunately. But that's all good. So you want to take out this Red Mage. What should I do? And then you want to take out this Sword Knight. Good morning. Orders, please. And as I said, um, Dimitri is going to be after Erika. So we have to just kind of avoid him, basically. And run away from him because he's definitely pretty threatening. And now you want to have your Erika over here. And as I said, Dimitri is going to be following Erika. And uh, Mini Nerva is going to be taking care of this Lance Knight pretty easily. And just take out this guy. And then you want to have your Erika over here. And just have your Peony and Ear on this side. He doesn't have Odd Tempest right now. And you just want to stall out until your mini Nerva is at full HP. So we're just going to be having Dimitri running in circles. He's going to get Odd Tempest the next turn. 
so you want to be really careful because he can be very annoying with Odd Tempest, just suddenly increasing his movement like that. What should I do? So you just want to have him run in circles, really, and uh, that is going to be really nice. Because we can just Good stall morning. until yes. Minerva gets to full HP with Sparkling Boost. Orders, please. So you want to go over here, Odd Tempest is going to be active Understood. now. Maybe we can also use this uh, opportunity to just get some ready? free damage. So let's go over right there. Ready. And now we can hopefully let's just try to... Hopefully just try to go after Dimitri and get yes. some damage on him. What should I do? So Odd Tempest is going to be active. Let's have Eric over here. Alright. Here he is. And uh, you just want to get some free damage on him. Let's go. So I'm going to have my ear like this. Odd Tempest is going to be gone now. And we can just get some free damage on him. Like this. This is really important because it can allow you to get easier kill on him. He's very bulky. So just making him run in circles. That's all we are doing, really. So we can get some damage on him here. Yes. And now we are pretty much Maybe done. This way. What should I do? Understood. So we're gonna stop that. Dimitri has been annoyed too much now. Alright, so let's, let's have our mini Nerva. What would he over do? here. Am I ready? All right, now we can just go ahead and uh, get some damage on him with air. Orders, please. Good morning. And air yes. should be able to finish this off. Actually, no, she does not. So Mini Nerva Let's is go. gonna take out Dimitri. He doesn't have the damage reduction. So you just have to make sure that Dimitri runs in circles so that he could get some free damage, and then you just take him out with your Mini Nerva. And that's the infernal solution. A bit cheesy at the end, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And now let's move on to the Big Bad Abyssal. For the Abyssal team, I'm going to be using these free to play units. So Irena Grande needs to have Drive Attack Sacred Seal. Drive Attack 1 should also work actually. Um, and you need to have Swap on her Assist skill. This is going to be really, really helpful and very clutch as you will see. And uh, then we have got Brave Dimitri. He needs to have Attack Speed Bond 3. If you do not have this upgraded at level 3, then you could even use the version 2 of this and use them with Summoner Support. And that should actually help you pretty much get the stats. So at uh, Summoner Support, he will be getting attack and speed. So that should make up for that fact. And uh, then we have got Mage Erika. She needs to have Gleipner Weapon Refine. I usually never really use these Weapon Refines unless I really need to. And here we need to because even some of the green units don't go down to her. So we definitely need an extra oomph out of this Gleipner Weapon Refine. So make sure to have that. And you also need to have New Moon as her special or any kind of three turn special that should work. New Moon is a prerequisite of Moonbow and Luna, so you could easily have this. It's just to make sure that she can take out one of those green enemies, uh, the, that green mage specifically at the end. So even after Glipner, she's not able to take out a green enemy. That's how inflated these enemies are, so New Moon really helps with that. Then you want to have Brazen Attack Speed. I believe Brazen Attack Defense can also work, but I haven't really tested that out, so don't quote me on that. You don't really need speed from this, I'm mainly using this for attack. And then at last, we have got uh, Peony with Drive Speed Sacred Seal. This is necessary so that you could outspeed some of the units with your air because they are ridiculously fast. So that is going to be the team here. Two skill inheritance and swap on air and uh, new moon on Erika. That should be pretty easy from three star units. And now let us begin with the Bizzle. So I'm going to try to use Dimitri to destroy Dimitri and uh, let's see if we succeed. Of course we succeed, that's why I'm making this video, but uh, yeah, let us uh, start by attacking this uh, Axe Knight over here. And Maybe you just want to take out this guy. And now you've got the Otter's buff on your ear and uh, Dimitri, so you want to do this and swap your Dimitri. And now you've got ear out of that uh, really bad spot, in my opinion. And... Dimitri does not get doubled by this Lance Fighter thanks to the Attack Speed Bond Sacred Seal. That Sacred Seal is really the MVP here. We also take out this uh, green um, Thief right there because of the extra attack from the Sacred Seal. And now before you do anything, you want to attack 
this Troubadour and take out this Troubadour with your Erika. Good morning. Taking pain damage is fine here, actually. And uh, again, the special is coming into the play to take out that yes. Troubadour. Then you want to weaken this Lance Fighter and Don't Dimitri just takes out this guy. And now we have got some bulky enemies. So this guy is the reason why I'm using Leipner Weapon Refine and New Moon Special. 41 resistance. Orders, so you want to go ahead and take out this uh, bow fighter with Erika. Ready. And you also take out this Axe Dragon. This guy is also pretty bulky because Leave of guard bearing. And then you want to teleport with the OR Dimitri because of the Order's Dex buff. Curse. And have air right behind Peony because we are expecting a sword fighter to spawn um, between Erika and Peony. So Dimitri just one shots that blade to mage, which is pretty fantastic. And here we have the yes. sword fighter. Now, whenever you follow these guides, it's really important to follow the orders of the moves because it really, really matters. Like, for example, right here, you want to attack and dance first with your peony and take out this sword fighter before you engage with Dimitri. That is to make sure you're in the same lane of peony so that you could get the extra attack. Every point of attack matters on Abyssal difficulty when these uh, units are so inflated. So you just want to attack that armor who has attack speed gap and is always going to be buffing up Dimitri. And as you can see, you needed New Moon right there to take out that Green Cavalier. It's super important, otherwise that guy just lives with 5 HP. We will not falter. So I'm gonna take out this Lance Knight, who has Miracle for some reason. Because having 99 HP armors wasn't enough. So Erika just takes out that, uh, that guy. Yes. And now you wanna move over here Good and morning. dance with your Peony. Because of the Order's buff, you yes, yes. should be able to just teleport and swap with Erika. And now Dimitri is going to be getting the Odd Tempest. Odd Tempest is truly a very annoying skill to face here. Um, so what you want to go over here with your Erika. And to me. get Peony out of this uh, bad situation, Maybe. we're going to use Dimitri. And then use Aerobatics of Don't Peony. Yes. And just go over here. And now we have separated these enemies successfully, so that is really great. You can just take out this bow fighter pretty easily with Erika. You can just go ahead and have your Erika over here so that Dimitri follows her. And that is going to be pretty important. And we you can have your Dimitri her. and here go over here. So Dimitri is going to be moving here down below to catch up to Erika. But that's not going to be happening. You can just do this. Good and take out this. Orders, please. These sword knights, these armor units also have guard weapons so are not charging your special anytime soon so that is super annoying and now you want to end your turn Dimitri is going to be coming over here you just want to run okay. away with Erika Maybe this way. and you want to have your peony over here and Dimitri right beside Erika and Dimitri is just going to be following Erika Erika is really amazing for deciding the movement of Dimitri it really helps a lot we He's not going to be getting Odd Tempest. We're basically going to be doing the same thing which we did in uh, Infernal Difficulty. Which is to just make him run in circles. And that really helps a lot because we need some chip damage on him. We need to knock him out of the uh, range of his cheating damage reduction weapon. So you want to just go ahead and attack from here. So you get some nice juicy damage. You want to dance up here with your peony and uh, just have your Dimitri over here. And here could be on this side, um, right beside Erika. You just want to run away again with Erika, have your Dimitri right beside her so that you can get the joint uh, tone attack buff. And you end your turn. And now you can get more damage on Dimitri. So you want to use swap with your air so that you can have the flower of joy buff. We really want to maximize any kind of damage that we could get on Dimitri. And have your Eric over here and have your Dimitri behind. Dimitri is again trying to close the gap, but we're gonna be continuing to run away. So you wanna go over here near the pillar. And he's gonna be going down again. And now we're gonna stop pissing off Dimitri, which is making him kill every last one of us. So you just wanna end your turn. And we have set up so that we can get joined. Hone attack buff on ear 
and Erika. Yes. So now we go in and attack Dimitri. Am I ready? We need to just knock him out of the range of his weapon. Orders, which works only when he's above 25% HP. And that is done. He's outside of that range. And me. now we just take him out with Dimitri. So Dimitri destroying Dimitri. It's pretty fun. And uh, that is going to be your abyssal solution. So again, you have to cheese him a bit. Just to get some chip damage to make sure that you can get the kill with Dimitri. Which is pretty easy to do as long as you know which unit he's going to be following. And you can make use of that wall. Which I'm really thankful for. So we can just attack Dimitri with that. And now let's move on to Lunatic Solution. For the Lunatic Solution you do not need any kind of Sacred Seals. And of course no skill inheritance required. So you need to have Reinhardt over here with no Sacred Seals. Peony with no Sacred Seals. Air with her base kit and same for Erika. So let us begin with Lunatic. And uh, Lunatic is definitely pretty straightforward. We don't really have that uh, Lance Fighter over here starting. Um, right, right near the Screen Thief. So I that do? is pretty great. So we can just attack this Axe Knight. And we can also just go ahead and take out this Cleric. Just one shot her. And this thief is also going to get doubled. We are in the lane of uh, Flower of Joy. So that's really amazing. And that's why Ear can actually double. We take out this uh, fridge with Reinhardt by yes. quadding. Am I ready? And now you want to have your Erika in the range of this uh, bow fighter. Because this Axe Dragon does have guidance. So this bow fighter can just teleport. And Erika can take out this uh, bow fighter because she is in the range of uh, in the range of Flower of Joy. What I and do? now we just go ahead and take Good out morning. this Axe Dragon. Yes. Retreat Understood. now with Air and uh, Reinhardt. And what we can easily do? take out this Sword Fighter. Attack this Fire Sweep uh, Archer. Let's go. Ready. Yes. Peony is in the range of the green mage cavalier, but this is lunatic. She can easily survive. There is absolutely no trouble. Alright, so we can just go ahead and get the debuff on Dimitri. Atrocity is not going to be affecting Reinhardt, so he can easily take out Dimitri, and that is pretty much going to be it. Now we just have this... Uh, Lance Knight left, and uh, let's just blow him That's out let's go. with Reinhardt's AoE special, and that is going to be it for this guy. As always, if you have any kind of trouble with uh, the solutions, let me know in the comments. I'll try my best to help you, and other people will as well. Make sure to share this video with your friends who are trying to beat this map, and I want to thank all of my YouTube members for their constant support. If you enjoyed, then please be sure to leave a like and a comment, helps me tremendously. And also subscribe and hit the notification bell. Because YouTube set boxes are about as annoying as Dimitri's odd tempest to deal with on this map. So with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.